Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to use Cook Entity View Water and when to use it. Okay, so uh, Cook View Water, you Entity View Water, you have to use when you want to alter your Entity View display. So it will work for all the entities. It will work for block content, taxonomy terms, users, comments, nodes. It will work for all the entities and it will uh, it will get called when you view an uh, entity okay so hook entity view alter you have to use when you want to alter something in this content so here you can see this is article so here you can see image uh description and tags are coming right so when you want to alter anything which is displaying here like if you want to change the title or if you want to delete some field or if you want to do any alteration on the build array, you have to use this hook entity view alter. Okay, so let's go to custom model and implement the hook. Entity view alter. Function. Stem underscore general underscore entity view auto. So arguments. So you can get the arguments from here. So copy all. I already added all the namespaces. Let me check one second. So these are the arguments I needed. So let me check whether it is on it's already added at the top. You can see here. So I'm going to remove the path here. And then entity view display interface that is also added. So I will need to delete that. Okay. So in this, you can see in this book, the build variable will be uh, used to alter your uh, node view. Okay. Here I'm going to use this for node view. So uh, if dollar entity tends to get entity type id okay so if this is equal to node i'm just printing your exit and checking whether it is getting called or not okay so since we implemented new book you need to clear a catchy so clear the catchy so you can see our exit is getting called so in this, I'm going to uh, print build variable. So when you uh, print build variable here, the size of build variable will be big. So it will uh, throw you the error that uh, this uh, allowed memory size is exhausted something. It will throw like that. So I know that this is build is a type of array. So I just want to print uh, underscore or array key so that we can see what are the keys we are getting in that. And then exit. Now refresh here. So you will be able to see all the key values. So here we are getting images and uh, tags, titles, all we are getting. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, print field tag. Okay. Field tag. So I don't know what type it is. So you can debug that by uh, calling a function called get tag. So you can see this is also array. So I will pass array keys. So here you can see the title, uh, lay label, all are coming. Label, language, code, field name, bundle, object. So I am I am going to change the title. So we have to change title by this way. So dollar build of field underscore tags. After that, title. So I am going to give title like uh, title from view order. <coughs> and then save it. Now go and refresh. When you scroll down, so you can see the title of the tag is getting changed. So this is how you can change any labels. 
And also, I know that there is a one more key called field image. So you can unset your field also, like unset of dollar bill of the key value. Save it and go and refresh. So are you able to see the image is uh, getting removed from the build? And then next, you can add your own view uh, field here, like markup if you want to add. So um, markup. We'll give like hash of markup. Testing entity view alter hook. Okay. And you can give any attacks also here, like B or H1 tag or strong, whatever you want. Let me give H2. Okay. So now go and clear the catchy. So are you able to see the uh, testing entity view or the cook? The text is coming from the markup which we added in your cook entity view order. Okay. So these are the ways uh, you can use cook entity view alter. So main purpose of using cook entity view alter is that when you want to alter something on build array, build array means when you want to alter something which is getting rendered in the front end, in that case, you have to use cook entity view alter. Okay. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.